Hi, everyone. My name is Alex, and I'm a PhD student in the Nonlinear Dynamics group led by Professor George Haller here at ETH Zurich. This video series serves um, the purpose to introduce the software package called T-Barrier, which we developed in the last year or two years um, within our group. So what is this T-Barrier software package about? This T-Barrier software package um, contains a series of Jupyter notebooks, which um, show, explain, and implement um, methods to extract advective, diffusive, stochastic, and active transport barriers from either two-dimensional or three-dimensional data. So the input to the notebooks will simply be either a two-dimensional or a three-dimensional steady or unsteady velocity field. At this point, um, I would I would like to mention that this software package has been um, developed as a companion to the book um, called Transport Barriers and Coherent Structures in Flow Data, written by Professor George Haller, which um, is planned to appear by the end of 2022 or at latest beginning of um, 2023. Um, I would also like to point out um, the help of um, of a PhD student in our group, Balin Kajas, who uh, did a great job and, and was really helpful when um, checking these notebook series and providing very helpful comments. With that being said, uh, we can proceed with, um, so in the first video, I will just show, show how to download this repository and how to make sure that everything is running properly. Of course, these Jupyter notebooks are um, require us to install several um, packages from Python. So we will do that all um, in this video. The first thing we need to do is we need to download the repository to our local machine. For that, we go on code and then click on um, download zip. This will download a folder, which I already downloaded, so I will stop the downloading now, but um, this might take uh, a few a few minutes at most. And the folder should be in, so the folder is called tbear and you should be able to find it in your downloads um, of the local machine. You can then um, put the folder wherever you want. I put it on the desktop, so you'll find the tbear folder here on the desktop. The next thing we do is we open the terminal. So when opening the terminal, um, we need to make, we, we now want to, so once the folder is downloaded into, to our local machine, we now need to make sure that we install all the necessary packages um, required to run the notebooks. For that, we um, need to go to the uh, tbearer folder. So the folder is in the desktop. So I need to go CD desktop. And you see that now I'm in the desktop and the T-Barrier folder is in desktop. So now I need to go inside this T-Barrier folder, CD T-Barrier. And now I'm inside this T-Barrier folder. So this T-Barrier folder um, contains several files. So there's this um, major file, which is T-Barrier. This file here contains all the um, necessary, contains all the notebooks. Then we have a bunch of other files. One is the manual.pdf file. So the manual.pdf file, um, you can check it out later, but it's simply a file which, which um, explains and gives an overview of the whole repository. Now, the important files for us are now either the requirements.txt file or the environment.yml file. Why are they important for us? Because um, in order to install all the necessary packages, um, we need to run the following command. So these, these two files, the environment.yml file and the requirements.txt um, file, if I open them up, so if, if, I, if I open these two files, so into good desktop T barrier, and then if I open this environment.yml file, what we can see is that it contains um, the name, and then various dependencies. So all these things, what all these things are, these are just simply packages. Now you can either proceed by uh, installing a virtual environment and run and installing all these packages uh, manually, or we can install the virtual environment together with these packages all at once. So at this point, I assume that you um, have Python already installed and um, Anaconda 
running. In case you have not installed neither, neither uh, Python nor Anaconda, then I would advise you to uh, follow the installation steps, which uh, I have I have explained in this file here, installation.md file. So this file um, basically just goes through the same steps as we will do in this video. Um, it downloads the repository. Then you need to install Anaconda. So in case you haven't installed Anaconda yet, please make sure to do so. And once we've installed Anaconda, we are now ready to create our T-Barrier environment. So this is a virtual environment we need to create in order to run um, the notebooks. So in order to run the environment, what we need to do is we need to run the command conda and create file environment.yml. So by running this command, what this does is it should install an, an, an virtual environment, which is called T barrier. Now I already have it installed, so it, it will not, it will not um, overwrite this, but if you haven't installed it, then this, this installation might take a couple of minutes, but in the end, what you would get is you would have a virtual environment, which is called T barrier installed. Now, before running these scripts, the UPA notebook, we need to make sure that we open a terminal and before we, we run the scripts, we need to make sure that we are actively in this inside this virtual environment. So what we need to do is we need to tap conda activate T barrier. What this does is once we've created this virtual environment, which is called T barrier, we now need to activate it every time before we run our scripts. If we don't activate our environment before running our scripts, then the scripts will not run. So we need to make sure to run this command every time we want to run the notebooks. So once I've activated the environment, I can I can make sure that I, that I'm inside the environment by looking at um at this section at at um by looking at the fact that I've got T berry here in front. So now I'm inside the T berry environment, and now I'm ready to open the Jupyter notebooks. For that, I type Jupyter notebook. What this does is it will open. It will open um, the same folder that we had that we had uh, in the um, GitHub repository. So if I go back to the GitHub repository, we had this um, this 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 general folder here which we downloaded, and now I have the same folder open just in a Jupyter environment. So now for the moment we are ready to uh, so all things are set up. The GitHub repository has been downloaded to our local machines and we set up successfully the virtual environment. If you have any questions, then feel free to email me. Um, we will proceed in the next video by exploring what is inside this T barrier folder. So inside this, um, you will see that inside the T barrier folder there will be a bunch of notebooks um, targeted to two dimensional and three dimensional velocity data. And in the next video, we will then be able to also run our first clip scripts and get an intuition about how these uh, Jupyter notebooks uh, effectively work in the end. With that, I thank you for your attention and um, I'm looking forward to seeing your next video.